<laughs> hey, Dana, yeah, I can't confirm it is snowing. We've been seeing gusts of winds. We're here in downtown Boston by the waterfront. Behind me, emergency crews are here near the aquarium station here in downtown. Reports we do now, we can confirm that water has definitely seeped into the station here, the T station. It's Boston subway system down into the aquarium station. There are no injuries, according to fire officials here. We do know, however, that the water here is now the second highest on record, the second highest tide Boston has ever seen as of right now, according to the National Weather Service uh, in uh, of Boston. Remember, we're talking about 4.7 feet. If you look over here, this is why it's so dangerous. This right here is actually water. That's that car right there is actually stuck in it's it's in water right now. You can't tell because it's frozen. And if you look in the back over there, that's Boston Harbor this way. So if we were to walk over here, you'd see just chunks of ice. And this is what the concern is all throughout uh, Boston right now, especially on the Cape and uh, and on the South Shore, because what's happening is you've got 40, 50, 60 mile an hour winds that are coming along the Cape and along the waterfront here. And now you've got heavy snow and precipitation and you add all of that with the freezing temperatures and you have the you can have power outages and the last thing you want in this freezing weather are power outages and so they're telling people that if you do lose power and you do lose heat you need to go to a warming shelter as yeah. soon as you can now the peak of this storm is going to be really up until 4 or 5 p.m. today mm. more than a foot of snow here in Boston and again a second highest tide that this city has seen so far now, luckily though like I said no injury out of that station here in downtown. It certainly looks like um, the perfect storm, especially with high tide. Are we safe to tell the children of Boston that they don't have to go to school tomorrow? <laughs> you know, that, that's a good point. I do not know. I cannot confirm. I know that Marty Walsh, the mayor here of Boston, is going to be having a press conference here at 3 o'clock. I'm sure we'll know about the schools tomorrow. Schools, majority of schools have been closed today. Remember, though, this isn't just about the snow. We're talking about extreme Arctic blast after this storm, a deep yeah. freeze, minus 20 wind chill over the next two days. That is just dangerously cold. So, again, Indeed. that's why power outages are such a big deal. Indeed. Diane. I'm glad you're able Dana. to get that message out to the folks. Thanks so much, Brian.